Patron Seat. You may have never have gotten to send anybody home on RuPaul's Drag Race, but you did successfully eliminate one queen, Katya. Ladies and gentlemen, Trixie Mattel! Here we got our next level up the second tier. What's up to you guys on the side? Hey. hey. Two tiers of fans tonight. And if you guys saw the Snatch Game, you know I'm not afraid of tears. Um, <laughs> you like this outfit? I couldn't decide what to wear. <laughs> it's just like a cotton. Latrice picked it. <laughs> Oh, is that too far, Denver? What, did you forget to invite your black friends tonight? Or... <laughs> oh, Trixie, you know we don't have any. <laughs> well, that's fun. I get to close the show and be the superstar. I guess that means Bendel La Creme is in here. Or maybe she was here, but she left in the middle. <laughs> you guys know Bendel Crumb, the famous queen from Seattle? Um, <laughs> you guys have been a wild fucking audience in Corrado. Do you guys smoke a lot of weed here? Is that what's going on? Great. Well, Katya smokes weed and she turned out okay. Um, <laughs> Listen, I just, I remember simpler times. It's been kind of a weird couple weeks for me. Simpler times when everyone was mad because Thorgy wrote a note on a piece of paper. <laughs> and now everyone's really mad about 100,000 pieces of paper. <laughs> but you know, me and Thorgy, we fought for Shangela. I said, Shangela deserves it. Thorgy said, Shangela deserves it. And the jury said, you know what? You've got a point. You've got a point. <laughs> but you know what? I did the right thing. I got my $100,000, and Shangela loves TV. So I went to the store. I bought the biggest TV I could find. I went to Shangela's house, and I gave her the box. <laughs> you guys, she loves it. She pops in and out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> It was a tight race. I mean, we had Bibi Zahara Benet, the African goddess. Hey, Katie girl, it's your third world. When you walk bare feet and you're wearing sheets, hey, Katie girl. You guys, Bibi Zahara Benet is so fucking full of shit. Harbonet is so full of shit, she needs a Bibi Zahara bidet. <laughs> you guys, I have more BB jokes, but out of respect for Ben, <laughs> I would not be showing <laughs> We also had Kennedy, who is so fabulous, Kennedy Davenport. <laughs> I call her TLC, because just like my favorite 90s rap group, her left eye is also dead. Um, oh. 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 <laughs> Death drop. <laughs> All right, guys, this show's about to take a dark turn. Woo! Or that's what I call it when Latrice does a pirouette. <laughs> No. These girls left in the middle. Did you see them there? They were interrupting everything. We should have called them milk. I was like, hello. <laughs> so irritating. 
I love our host, Ginger Minge, but she is so short, she's fucking standing behind that table right now. <laughs> on her tiptoes. <laughs> I'm not saying Ginger uh -uh. Minge is getting old, but the skin around Gin Nope. <laughs> I'm not saying Ginger's getting old, but the skin around her eyes is getting so thin and papery, Nina Vanina Brown tries to wear it on her head on Drag Race. <laughs> Ginger's a triple threat. She has body odor, tuberculosis, and diabetes. <laughs> and there's been so many jokes tonight about Ginger being fat. Okay, those are not stretch marks. She's a cutter. <laughs> a lot of long sleeves in the audience tonight. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Tricks. I've got so many fat jokes tonight. Listening to Ginger and Latrice call each other fat, that's like Lucian Piani and Katya calling each other crazy. <laughs> We're here because of Murray and Peter Presents, which is fabulous. Murray and Peter have cheated more young white girls out of their mom's money than Jeffree Star. <laughs> Thorgy's also here. Drag is fun. Woo! <laughs> or as we call her nowadays, drinking used to be fun. Woo. <laughs> Thorgy was so fucking drunk during that set, I thought Jinx Monsoon was doing an encore. <laughs> we could not get Acid Betty on this tour, so we've got Bitter Betty. Give it up for Thorgy. <laughs> um, I saw her totally naked in the dressing room, you guys. Ugh, Jesus, gross. <laughs> She's so ugly out of drag, the only one who tries to pick her up is Mimi on first. <laughs> Thor, do you know why they're called dreads? Why? Because of the feeling black people have when they see your hair. <laughs> Thorgy said that Latrice's favorite food is seconds. <laughs> Thorgy would know about going second. Um, ooh, no, I'm not gonna joke about eliminations, but what position did Morgan play in, in, in Little League? First, okay, okay, okay. And what did Thorgy play? Second! She's actually not allowed around children. <laughs> Trinity's also here. Girl, if you're gonna bomb like that every night, we can change your drag name to Isis. <laughs> Are you offended on behalf of Isis? <laughs> Trinity Taylor's body is so fake it makes Valentina's accent seem real. Okay. Now I'm killing it, okay. <laughs> a gay guy hasn't killed this hard since Jeffrey Dahmer, okay. <laughs> and on the third day, God created Eureka's knee from Trinity's rib. <laughs> Eureka's here, people say she looks like she's eating for two. I think she looks like three guys, ate four guys, and then went to five guys. <laughs> it's not her fault tonight. She did a great job tonight, but honestly, without a kneecap, how is she gonna patel a good joke? <laughs> stupid, stupid. <laughs> okay, what does Trixie Mattel in the Snatch Game and Eureka's knee have in common? We both buckle under pressure. <laughs> Trigger. Trigger. Yuriko Hair is so busted that even her knee tried to eliminate her from drag race. Oh. Now that's unfair. Eureka's <laughs> knee has all the perseverance of Cynthia's liver. Oh, oh come on, laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> Unless you have cancer. <laughs> you guys cannot decide this late in the night that now you're good people, okay? <laughs> but look at those fucking titties. Eureka's titties look amazing. She looks, 
She looks like Kim Chi sitting in a chair backwards. It's beautiful. <laughs> Eureka, you are so fucking big on TV. You look like Latrice Royale cast and acting in White Chicks. <laughs> Jinx Monsoon is on Grinder tonight. It's the real deal. That's not a catfish. It's a whale. <laughs> Water off a duck's back rolls. <laughs> Did you guys know every time they crown a new winner, one of Jinx's horcruxes dies? <laughs> <sighs> Stay close to me, Nikini. <laughs> Listen. If you're reaching out to your reptilian companion, Aja's not here. We could say Jinx is living in the shadow of Bianca Del Rio, but do we really think Jinx could fit in the shadow of Bianca Del Rio? Oh, Bianca Del Rio's doing a Hurricane Bianca 2. I heard this one's a comedy. But Katya is playing the love interest. So it's also a fantasy. <laughs> Jinx is so fucking stupid. She's a singing Jewish drag queen who didn't name herself Menorah Jones. <laughs> yeah, the last time we had sex, I was singing, I don't know why I didn't come. <laughs> Jinx is narcoleptic, which is what we call drinking every night until you pass out. <laughs> but she uses her narcolepsy to her advantage. It's like, Jinx, why aren't you contoured? I fell asleep. <laughs> Jinx, why does your outfit look like a taco salad? I fell asleep. <laughs> Jinx, what happened to your audience? They fell asleep. <laughs> Latrice Royale's looking pretty fuckable tonight, don't you think? Woo! And to be fair, Latrice has been fucked by the system. Oh! oh, come on, people think I stole Shangela's crown? I'm not even the criminal here. But I think Latrice looks so good in that bracelet. The one on her ankle. Okay, come on, we gotta get through this quickly. We have to return Latrice to Skull Island, so. <laughs> is this show sponsored by Netflix? Because with Latrice, we get Orange is the New Black and A Stranger Thing. <laughs> Seriously, Latrice, if Jesus is a biscuit, it looks like you ate 10,000 Jesuses. <laughs> Biscuit, finally a word Eureka recognizes. <laughs> Latrice is going to get married to her beautiful, skinny little white husband, Christopher. Latrice has fucked more skinny white guys than Crystal Meth. <laughs> Speaking of Katya. No. She's so brilliant, Katya. I can't wait to see her brilliant mind. I can't wait to see what's coming down the pipe. You guys were too supportive. You missed the joke. That's okay. All the way from the movie Tangerine, we've got Willem. People think she looks like Jessica Simpson. I think she looks like a character named Jessica from The Simpsons. <laughs> Honestly, she looks like Cameron Diaz dressed up as... Nope. Fuck. <laughs> she looks like John Cena dressed up as Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Girl, Willem, you know it's bad when your famous friend is Courtney Act. <laughs> She won Big Brother, you look like her big brother. 
Willem, your jawline seems really pointed right now. <laughs> and finally, she's not here to defend herself, but fuck that. Give it up for Aja. Woo! That's enough. Ayo sis. Ayo cystic acne. <laughs> you guys, what is Aja's favorite 90s alternative band? Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I go lightning round about Aja, what's Aja's favorite fashion designer? Acne. Okay, 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 okay. What is Aja's favorite movie? Scarface. Okay, okay. And what does Aja have all over her back? A nice costume, you fucking monster. <laughs> And by the way, before I go, if anything tonight offended you, write it on a piece of paper, hang it on the wall. We will wait for Shangela to make it about her. Bye. <laughs>